Hello, what's going on everybody? IO Studios here for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do an ultra-realistic glass material in Cinema 4D. I'm also going to be teaching you guys how to do some okay lighting. So, um, let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is head up here and add in a, uh, ret. Where is the circle? There we go. Circle. Rotate it. 90 degrees on this axis. Let's scroll out. Control C, Control V. The object set the radius to 230 centimeters, not 2030, <laughs> 230. There we go. Let me bring that up a bit. Let's try to do just a normal glass of water. Would look like. There we go. And grab the loft. Put all the circles into the loft. Click on the loft. Enable loop caps. Set the start cap to fill it cap. Set the end cap to fill it cap. Then we're gonna add a um, where yet? Add a cylinder in and object radius we're going to set that to 298 and the height we're going to set to eight centimeters then we're just going to move that into place there we go just the bottom of the glass there should be all good now we're going to make the material so double click go to basic disable color enable transparency and make sure reflectance is enabled as well so go to transparency set the refraction to 1.6 go to reflectance, default specular, and bring up the width, or I mean bring down the width, sorry. Bring down the width to uh, let's see here, 13%, and then bring up the specular strength all the way, just like that. And then uh, what you guys are gonna do, bring up the width, let's see here. Yeah, the width about 14. We'll leave it at, uh, we'll bring it down to 12. And bring up the uh, specular strength almost all the way, just like about 94%, ah, uh, we'll do about 85%. <clears throat> now you want to apply that to your cup and the cylinder. And then we're going to select both of them. Hit Alt G, put them into null. We're going to rename that null glass. Then we're going to want to add a backdrop. So let's get a cube. Let's scale up this cube. And this is kind of how I do a, a basic, quick, simple backdrop. And like that. And enable fill it. Then just drag up the fillet radius, um, just like that should be good. <clears throat> then uh, make the object editable. Uh, we're gonna select the top polygons here. Select all the polygons. Then using shift and left clicking, uh, deselect the s these. Oop. Using shift and left click, deselect these polygons right here, the center. Then just hit delete. And that should delete all the other polygons. Now let's uh, select the line on top. Scale that up. Then when you select all of these ones. And then we're going to move that like that. Good, good, good. And we're going to just move that up. Then grab the glass. And let's put the glass right at the back there. So let's put it right about... Actually, we want the cube above the grids. Uh, so we're going to move that up there. Move the glass up. There we go. Just like that. Put it towards the back. Now we're going to make our light box. So the way we're going to do that... We're gonna grab a plane. No, not those things that fly. Just, uh, just a flat one. <laughs> and <clears throat> scale it up a bit. Now we're gonna rotate it. And we're gonna just move it up. Move it up. Then I right, do like that. Just wanna kind of move it into position, just like that. Control C, Control V. Over there, so we're, gonna move, okay, so we're gonna move right over here. No, nope. there we go. Check we're still recording. Yes, we are. Good, good, good. Then we have that there. Yes, just like so. I'm gonna just change the rotation a bit, like that. And now we should be done with that. Now we're gonna just um, gonna zoom in here on this line. The glass. Oh, <clears throat> what was that? There you go. Sorry. Gonna zoom in on the glass like so. And we're gonna put a camera down. There we go. Put the camera. And we'll just go set the camera. There we go. Now we're gonna make a new material. We're gonna drag it onto the background. I'm gonna actually go out of the camera. We're gonna go. Uh, we're actually gonna have to make a new material again. This is gonna be for the uh, softbox. And then, with the basic, enable luminance uh, in the 
settings here. Where are we at? Luminance, yes. So set the color to completely white and enable luminance. Uh, or luminance is already on, sorry. Set the brightness uh, to 200 on the luminance section. Then we're gonna apply both. We're gonna apply this material to both of these light boxes. Head back to the camera. Now I know you guys can't see the render settings tab uh, or the render setter, render settings window, so I'm just gonna tell you what to do. So go to output mode. Set uh, or go to output. Set the width to 1920 by 1080. Also make sure that your frame range is set to current frame. Uh, go to effect, ambient occlusion, uh, effect global illumination. And under the global illumination, set these samples to high for the highest quality. Uh, now we are done, and you can actually just render away. Now, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, uh, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and um, yeah, as always, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, subscribe, like, share with your friends, and um, yeah, I hope you guys. Have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye.